So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be me dyeing my hair black. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know I have always have had dark hair, but I don't know where I had the urge to dye it into like a balayage style. And I thought it would look cute on me. I thought the person who would do it would like do it perfectly just how I showed it on the picture. But obviously that didn't go how I, I planned it to be. It just went completely the opposite. I literally had three different tones. My natural hair, a light color right here, and then a dark color right here. I will be posting a picture how my hair looked like right after <laughs> the lady messed it up. Somewhere around here, I was so self-conscious about it. I was so upset. I was literally about to cry. I remember just texting my best friend and I was like, I did my hair and the lady who did it completely messed it up and she was like, send me a picture. I sent her a picture. She's like, oh yeah, she did. She did mess that up. But anyways, um, I didn't want to dye right after because she bleached it more than three times. So my hair was very, very damaged. It was super dry. I had so many split ends. I still have split ends. So right after I did my hair, I think a week later, I was like, let me tone it down and let me just tone it and see what it does. And when I toned it, the color was pretty cool, like pretty nice. But then it like faded away within like a week after my first wash and then the second wash and then the third wash and it was just like back to square one again. I was like not happy that I had to be toning my hair constantly to keep it and maintain it like that. And uh, I love my hair enough not to damage it some more. So I just decided to come to the conclusion that you know what, I'm not gonna, not gonna keep on damaging my hair more than it already is. So I'm just gonna be dyeing it a deep cool black tone um my natural hair is dark brown i have had dye it before jet black which i am obsessed and if you're committing to a black color you have to know that you're not you can't go back because it's not easy going back into a lighter color so this is the reason why i am doing a deep cool black not jet black but deep cool black it is black but i was kind of confused i was like should i do dark brown or should i do black and i'm just like you know what just do it black because i'm not going to damage my hair again and yeah my hair right now is five days dirty so right now my hair is completely completely dirty as you guys can see it's very saturated by the natural oils i have on my head just for this reason just to dye you know so i'm using the madison reed in deep cool black tone and this is how it comes it comes in this little kit which i thought the packaging was really really nice so the reason why i chose that brand to dye my hair with is because it's free of ammonia and free of parabens so i'm excited Excited about that and it comes with this conditioning activator it's over the, the cream's already in here so I just have to read how to do this because I think this is like my second time actually dying no this is like my third time dying my hair but it's been so long since I haven't done it so it comes with like everything that you need to dye your hair with. It comes with a shampoo, a conditioner, a cleansing wipe, barrier creams. And so this is what I'm pretty much going to be using to dye my hair itself. And the cool thing is that it comes with gloves and it comes with a haircut. So I am not going to lie, I'm kind of scared that this is not enough for my hair. If it's not enough, I'm just going to send my husband to go buy me some more because... Yeah, I can't be having two different tones of hair. So I will be applying the barrier cream around the edges of my face so I won't hopefully stain myself because I already stained my fingers. to dye my hair my camera died and I was freaking out because like I went half 
I did half of my hair and it wasn't enough. So I immediately called my husband and I was like freaking out. I'm like, babe, you need to help me. You need to go to Ulta and you need to like go buy me more um, hair product. Cause the cream, the consistency of this is very thick. So it's not watery. So it's kind of hard for me to do it by myself. So I had to ask my husband to help me and he's doing that right now. Thank you so much, babe. Cause I'm like freaking out. Like I, I still think it's not enough for my hair. And I only got like one box of hair dye yeah like who freaking does that <sighs> gosh this is a hair disaster i'm like freaking out i'm putting my gloves back on because i just had to grab my camera and i didn't want to dye it but after this i told him to go to ulta but he said no we should go together yeah that's what i'm gonna do right after i'm just gonna shower and re-dye it again because it's not enough. I can still see like light patches, but he's making it work right now and hopefully it works. See like right here. Can you add some right here, baby? That's the, that's the light that you're seeing. Really? Yeah, it's not a light patch. If you want, I can add a little bit. Here, add right here. There's no more? No, it's like out. So I ran out of hair dye. This is a freaking disaster. Oh my gosh. I'm like freaking out. <laughs> oh god. I mean overall though it looks better. I can never do anything by myself. He literally has to help me with everything. He was the one who applied it in the back of my head because I just started to freak out. So we just got back from Ulta and this is how my hair turned out to be. There is still places on my hair where it's still like light brownish like right now. See? And I was freaking out. My husband managed to add some color and actually kind of blend it through but still there's like hard hard patches of like light tones so i just changed to the shirt that i'm gonna use to dye my hair again and thank god the ulta i called um had some hair dye and she said that it was the last one so i'm so happy and so thankful thankful to christ that there was another bottle because just my hair it's like all patchy looking it's just a mess honestly it's just a mess so the amazing thing about this hair um hair dye from Madison Reed is that it doesn't have ammonia. It's like ammonia free and paraben free. I know I said that in the beginning of my video, but it doesn't smell bad. That's the cool thing. I literally was able to just like be here in my bathroom and chill, you know? Usually when they dye my hair or when I dye my hair, there is this disturbing smell that I'm pretty sure you guys have smelled before. And I think that's the ammonia, correct me if I'm wrong, but it just smells horrible. And the, another thing is that I noticed that my hair, like my head bed, wasn't itchy. So that's perks. And in the name of Jesus Christ, my hair will come out the way I want oh. it to come out. <laughs> looks like uh, my camera died after I think like the five minutes we started doing this well 
it was mostly him. Husband was mostly doing everything. Do you think it looked cute? <laughs> so this is how my hair turned out to be. It's all even. And I'm super, super happy with the results because I feel like it's me again. I'm back to the normal me. So thank you so much for watching. And if you guys liked the video, please give it a huge thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And until next time.